All right, water skiing is easy, but you know what? You take away the skis and all you have is a face full of water. All right, well, before I'm all washed up, you guys have to look at Guy Cooper. He built this haven for motorcycle dummies in his home in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Something about that theory, you know, if you build it, they will come. Take a look. Guy Cooper from Stillwater, Oklahoma. I race motorcycles. Started in 1984 with no money, and my goals were I want to make a living at this. I want to go as hard as I can and race as hard as I can. I got comfortable riding on that edge. The more screaming and hollering was going on, the flatter and the higher I got. You know, the track to me was 18 feet wide, and I used it. I was between those hay bales. Hey, that's my boundaries. I'm doing okay. a hard time hitting the same spot every time. So more air for me meant more time to correct. I can probably move my bike three or four feet in the air. I like the adrenaline. And whenever you're out there pushing yourself to the max and those close calls, uh, you know, they, they can give you that rush. You know, there's very few riders that have made it all the way up without any major crashing. I'm still learning that um, line choices is so important. And so that's where I'm at now is with uh, American Suzuki off-road. I'm all over the place racing for them, and it might be a enduro one weekend, a cross country the next weekend. I'll be leading for a while going, yeah, it's a piece of cake, and the next thing I know, here's Summers coming through the trees, there's leaves falling off of him and stuff, he's made a shortcut. Riders who are good in the off-road, they've been in there a, long, a lot of years. There's all kinds of people talking about the um, athletic end of it, how much strength it takes. We wanted to find out for ourselves how good a shape we are in. Race came down. Three of us had monitors for 15 minutes. Our heartbeat was between 195 and 205. And the um, doctors couldn't believe it. Just another day in Cooperland. I was fortunate enough to make money racing for Suzuki to buy land, and here I am with 160 acres and all the toys and stuff. This is the workshop. Follow me while I'll give you a little tour of the place. I picked up a lot of the bolts on the back at auctions. This is the 50 by 100 where we keep all the, it's a storage shed. This is where I keep all the parts and tires. And this is the gear aisle. This is my GNCC bike. Hill climbs are fun. Go out and spend a whole day just playing on the steepest hills you can find. This isn't um, mirror objects and it's not uh, hanging by lines and stuff. But I love air because in the air it's time for me to relax. I concentrate on the takeoff, the landing I know is coming up, but I have those few seconds to relax. There you go. Now get your knees together and your feet apart. There you go. Then sit up, and as you sit up, your feet will come to the water, and just let them tickle the water. Just touch it. Okay. And then slowly push down, keeping your arms straight. Hang on to that bar. Hip 
Lift up. There you go. Even more. Try to touch your belly button to the bar. Ready? There you go. Hips up. Okay, bend your knees. Well, you did, you did fine, but you still got to... You want an arch, you want, you want to hold your foot right there in a firm position. You kind of just had it like okay. this. Yeah, you're right. You're trying to get up still by pulling your arms in, okay? You're bringing your shoulders forward. As you come here, you're kind of coming up like this. Okay, your arms aren't really pulling in, but you watch my back. Instead of it staying here and coming up here, you're coming this way. 